Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey guys, we're here in Prince Edward County, more specifically in Picton, at the Picton Harbor. A lot of beautiful old boats here. Laura noticed one over there with a mustache. I like that one. This dock here could use some upkeep. It's a little bit crooked. Am I standing straight now, you think? <laughs> I feel like this is probably, yeah, I'm vertical. So I'm guessing to pay the $6 lunch for you take an envelope from this envelope mailbox and you put it through that hole. <laughs> A bit of an honor system? Quite an honor system, yeah. <laughs> We are now doing an impromptu house tour. Now I want to show you guys something that has blown my mind. Here we have McDonald's. Here we have Sobeys. And here we have the House of Falconer. So this house is owned by my friend Alex. It is absolutely incredible that it is in this plaza, that it has been here since about 1857 and all of this stuff has been built around it. It's exciting what Alex is doing with it. He's got some pop-up shops in it. He has done an incredible amount of restoration. Can't wait to go inside. Let's go check it out. Hey Alex, you've got some loose floorboards back here. Well, Alex has an incredible eye, and if that didn't inspire you, let's head over to his inn, Angeline's. See you there. My favorite experience was the Babylon. Cleverly placed at the end of a promenade, this building was relocated to the property. Deconstructed and then reconstructed log by log. Again, you can see Alex's attention to detail, every material, piece of furniture, textile, and object in its rightful place. I hope to spend a night here soon and do a full review of the cabin. This entire place is so beautiful. Really proud of the work Alex has done. Keep it up, man. Thanks for the tour. So cool. Definitely book a reservation here soon. We're back in Picton. Let's grab some uh, dinner at the Vic Cafe. garden party with chicken and the Spanish holiday. So I got a chai tea latte. Laura got a chai tea misto with soy milk. I got almond milk. Very tasty. We attended a wedding under the trees. We narrowly escaped a storm. The power went out, but the candles and honest love kept us warm. Congratulations, Emily and Christopher. 